Uh, yes, yesterday in the Daily Telegraph, the Sunday Daily Telegraph, there was an article about um, uh, football fans that have been allegedly banned by the uh, Football Association, FFA. And the point was made by the journalist, uh, Rebecca Wilson, that this was a name and shame uh, exercise and that uh, the preponderance of the fans banned were from the Western Sydney Wanderers uh, fan group. There's a couple of problems with that. First of all, um, some of the people so supposedly named and shamed weren't banned at all. And uh, second, some of them were under 18. And of course, naming those under 18 is, um, well, in some circumstances illegal and it's certainly improper. But the question also is, where did that information come from? Rebecca Wilson is not known as an investigative journalist of, of uh, repute. So the information must have come from either the FFA, which has a strong privacy policy, or the New South Wales Police. Now, if it came from the New South Wales Police, that's a pretty serious problem. The New South Wales Police has been uh, in a state of conflict, if you like, with Western Sydney Wanderers fans um, for a while. The New South Wales Police Association labelled them grubs in a press release just a couple of weeks ago. Now, if, uh, if they released the information on the supposedly banned fans, then that would be a very serious breach of not only privacy, but also uh, police ethics. Uh, it's a serious problem. The Daily Telegraph has some uh, uh, making up to do, otherwise I suspect it may have a liability problem. Football Federation has potentially a serious privacy breach, or the New South Wales Police have a serious ethical, at the very least ethical if not legal, question to face. Anything else you want to talk about?